Well, hello everyone, it's Jordan Power here, and today's video is about how Satan tries to distract you. Now, let's get started. As Christians, we should avoid being distracted away from the things of the Lord. There are many different ways of how Satan tries to distract us from the things of the Lord. It could be through things like secular entertainment, video games, secular media, etc. Video games and secular media can become a dis distraction if too much time is spent on it, or if you indulge in evil content on there, and it is twice as worse if it is both. Secular entertainment can also be a distraction if you indulge in the satanic ones, or if you spend too much time on it, or worse, both. As Christians, we must stay away from the secular entertainment that is satanic, and stay away from media platforms and video games that are satanic. Now let's see Romans 12, 1 through 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good unacceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1-2 KJV We should not be of the world. We should not indulge in mainstream secular music, movies, Oh, hang on right, right, right. Um, there's something missing in the mind service. Okay, so we should not indulge in mainstream secular music, movies, and shows because most of the mainstream secular content is satanic. The topic of fellow Christians can watch sports games or not is a matter of conviction. If you feel convicted against watching sports games, then you should not do so. On the other hand, if you do not feel convicted against watching sports games, then you can watch sports games to the glory of God. And you should, oh, and you also should not watch too much of it, as watching too much of it will be a distraction. Likewise, watching one or two sports games in a, in a single week is okay, but on the other hand, watching three or more sports games in a single day is too much. Playing an innocent video game for one or two hours for just one to three days a week is okay, but on the other hand, spending five or more hours playing video games, let alone spending all day Playing video games is too much. Let's see, Romans 14, 14. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. Romans 14, 14, KJV. If you feel convicted against something that is immoral, great are you, then you should not indulge in it. For example, if you feel convicted against dyeing your hair, then you should not style your hair. On the other hand, if you do not feel convicted against something that is a moral gray area, then you can indulge in it to the glory of God as long as you do not indulge in it too much. For example, if you do not feel convicted against dyeing your hair, then you can dye your hair to the glory of God as long as you do not become too obsessed. Activities like playing innocent video games or watching sports games should be done in moderation since spending too much time on them is a distraction. Violent video games should be avoided because violent video games like Grand Theft Auto, Fortnite, Call of Duty, etc. are satanic and promote violence. Study, uh, studies show that playing violent video games can desensitize you to other people's pain. Mainstream secular movies, shows, and music should be avoided because most of it is satanic. As Christians, we should not let Satan distract us since we must spend good quality time with God. If you struggle with distractions, then you should pray to God or fast. You should spend time in God's word and you must rely on God's strength to avoid being distracted by the things of this world. You should also keep your focus on the things of the Lord when you are spending good quality time with God. Let's see Philippians 4, 8. Family brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, 
whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good reports. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. To Philippians 4, 8, KJV. We must keep our thoughts pure. We can also avoid being distracted by Satan by focusing on Jesus Christ. Before we indulge in a movie, show, or song, we should see if it is compatible with Philippians 4, 8. No, this means that the mainstream sector music shows and movies really go out the window, since due to them being satanic, they are not compatible with Philippians 4, 8. When we keep our focus on Jesus Christ and avoid being distracted by Satan, then we will roll in our walk with Jesus Christ. We will also be using our time much more wisely, and it will benefit us for an eternity. We must always put Jesus Christ first, and we should always put Jesus Christ before everything. Satan could also try to distract you with the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of riches. And now let's go to Matthew thirteen twenty-two. He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Matthew thirteen twenty-two KJV. We should not let the worries of this life distract us, and we should not let riches deceive us. We should always focus on Jesus Christ. If we keep our focus on Jesus Christ and spend good quality time with Jesus Christ, then we can avoid being distracted by Satan. Oh, when we are tempted, then we should spend time in, in prayer and fasting, spend good quality time with Jesus Christ, and rely on God's strength to overcome the temptation. There are verses that can destroy any kind of temptation that you are dealing with. For example, if you are tempted to commit sexual sin, then you can use 1 Corinthians 6, 18-20. If you are tempted to play a violent video game, then there is Philippians 4, 8. If you are tempted to conform to worldliness, then there is Romans 12, 1-2. Um, there are many different ways how Satan tries to distract you, and we should learn how to fight against those distractions. We can fight against those distractions with good quality time spent with Jesus Christ, including spending time in the Bible. Jesus Christ is more viable than this whole world. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to the channel. And please leave a like and share this video. And goodbye.